Hey folks and welcome. So this is going to be an update and I'm going to try to cover a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I've gotten a lot of emails about the air bike and uh, long story short is I put it in storage because I needed to get my rotator cuff surgery last year. It got to the point folks that I couldn't hardly even lift uh, you know the wing or anything because um, you know it's it's long and it's it's just hard to wrangle with my shoulder bad. Good news is I got my so shoulder surgery in December and I'm doing great. Now the um, as you know the fuselage is 100% done and uh, as you just saw I was testing the motor. The motor's broken in, pretty much broken in now. Okay, uh, the engine. So the tail feathers need co covered. They're completely done. And I've had a lot of questions, folks, about when is this project going to get done? And there's two things. One was my shoulder and the other one is finances. Um, you know, like I said, the motor's mounted, the motor's been broken and the muffler seems to be working really good. And I won't know really until I put a big load under it if I've got to modify the muffler a little bit or the exhaust. So as you know from post, I mean, past updates, the uh, wing is framed. Both wings are framed. And uh, it's gone really well. The leading edge is done on one wing. The other wing, it's not. The ailerons cut out on this wing. On the other wing, it's not. So really, all I've got to do is cut out ailerons and do leading edge, and everything's ready to be covered. Now, if you've been watching or a longtime fan, you know the MSL2 had a crash. There's a crash video on my YouTube. I'm not going to talk too much about it here. But the only thing that was really hurt was the wings. The fuselage, while it looks a little bit beat up there, is going to be very easy to fix. And uh, the new wings, I'm just going to rebuild. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Again, finances dictate a lot. This is a little pet project I did. This is a 100,000 milliamp power supply that I can take to the airfield. I'm going to be doing a video on this very soon. It'll probably be my next video. But basically, folks, I'm tired of carrying my generator to the field. I can charge this overnight, and I can get about 30 to 40 of my uh, batteries charged for a flight. Um, I've got a whole video I'm going to do on this, how I did it. And uh, this sucks some money out of me, folks. So again, this is what kind of affects my budget. The uh, Cessna 170 with the rockets was a huge success at CEF. But I forgot, <laughs> I kind of misunderstood the rules, folks. I thought under the AMA, I could fire rockets as long as I'm firing them up in the air. But basically, the AMA doesn't like any rockets that don't have any control being fired from model airplanes. So I kind of ditched that, and um, we're not going to be doing that much, unless it's on somebody's private property. But still, I'm not going to be doing it. Um, here's a video of me launching the rocket. It was really kick-ass, and it was really, really a lot of fun. Parachute open. Um, now I did get a flex, uh, otter. Okay. And I've been having a blast with this thing. So I'm going to do some video updates on it. It is absolutely a blast to fly. Anything I've bought from flex so far has just been super, super cool and super easy to fly. Now, one thing folks I want to talk about in my videos I do of this isn't just how aerobatic these are, but how easy they are to transport, how easy they are to just fly like a normal airplane, not 3D. Um, another bit of information, if you remember the MSL-1, I flew that for over a thousand flights. It was a 73 pound airplane and I'd put it in storage. Okay, well, I've, I've pulled it out of storage, folks, and it's not going to fly like this, but I'm going to build a super top secret project out of this that you won't even recognize this when it's done. Okay, you, you'll you look at this and go, there's no way that all those parts come from the MSL-1. Now, I've already had a few friends I've told this top secret project to that says, oh, you can't get rid of the MSL-1. Folks, it's just sitting in storage. It's not doing anything. And then I have this top secret um project I'm working on that has been a blast. Okay. But folks, a lot of these projects I work on, I already own the parts. I already have the parts and pieces, so they don't cost a lot of money. Yes, that is two D rocket engines and two C rocket engines there. That's going to power this thing. Um, but I really, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to do a whole video series on it. Basically I took an EDF and I'm turning, turning it into a rocket plane. And uh, I have no idea how well it's going to do. It, it is going to be super light, but I don't know what 2D engines are going to do to it. Uh, and 2C engines, um, that first little frame at the beginning of this was its uh, igniter system. So I can ignite the 2C engines and the 2D engines independently. 
and I have to flame proof the inside of the fuselage so that when the engines backfire, and I know there's engines that don't have delays, but I can't find them for the uh, thrust duration or the uh, amount of time I want. And this is what it looks like. And um, I can't remember what this EDF was called, but I'm turning it into a rocket plane. And uh, But folks, I really want you to understand that finances drive everything I do in the hobby. Okay, and I just don't have a lot of money. So people are like, well, why isn't the air bike getting done? Well, the air bike, I have to buy the fabric. I have to dope it. Well, I mean, seal it, paint it, and do all that stuff. So the air bike will get back on to schedule, hopefully this year. But folks, I've got to fly and have fun in the, uh, uh, you know, the hobby, or it's just not worth it. If I'm not loving this, why am I doing it, right? So thanks for watching. Rock on. Have an awesome day. Please like and follow my videos because the money generated from my videos, folks, is actually paying for my hobby. Okay? So take care, everybody. Have a great day and rock on. Bye-bye.